Chris Nash was in form again with the bat to help Sussex to a second successive NatWest T20 Blast success as they defeated Kent in Canterbury by five wickets with an over to spare. The Sharks made the perfect start, Joe Denley losing his off stump to the first ball of the match. And to the tenth, Sam Northeast was also heading back after top edging this shot off Danny Briggs to be held by Ben Brown. And the Spitfires had succumbed to 22 for three after five overs when Daniel Bell Drummond was bowled off his pad, a second wicket for David Visa. His figures were ruined a bit by Darren Stevens, who went long to complete the seventh over. But midway through the eighth, Stevens was on his way, furious with himself for spanking Briggs straight to Chris Jordan to depart for 18 at 50 for four. Halfway through, Kent had recovered to 76 for four, Sam Billings top edging a pull shot over the rope. But back came the Sharks again, Jimmy Neesham using his levers, but only to offer Laurie Evans the catch in the deep. And when Alex Blake followed for a single, yorked by Jofra Archer, the home team was six down, still short of three figures. Matt Coles hit three fours off a Will Beer over, only to be then bowled behind his legs by Archer. Kent left on 115 for seven, with 34 balls of the innings still left. The fact they got as far as they did in the end was mostly down to Billings, who reached his half century with his third six from his 30th ball. Billings then added two more maximums to his tally, the second off Jordan, an extraordinary stroke to get to 74 from 40 deliveries, dominating a 41-run partnership with James Treadwell, who stuck around well enough. Billings was out in the penultimate over, bold as he tried to sweep Jordan again. Kent ending their 20 overs on 163 for 9, as Imran Kayoum was foxed by Jordan, who ended with figures of 3 for 38. Nash played out a maiden to Coles to start the reply, but then got moving by hitting the same bowler over the rope in the third over, just after Stian Van Zyl had done the same. Van Zyl was out for eight in the fourth, nicking off to Nisham at 22 for one, but that was the last time the fielding side were really in contention. Nash, following on from his explosive 50 the previous night against Surrey, helped carry the score to 62 for one in the power play, his timing exemplary. Brown backed him up brilliantly, 92 of the runs knocked off with half of the overs still remaining. Brown brought up the 100 with a fiercely swept six off Denley. And he overtook Nash in moving to 49, the second wicket stand reaching 88. Brown was out to his 29th ball, another inventive moment going wrong. And Kent's hopes were resurrected when Ross Taylor followed next ball, a simple catch for Treadwell as Stevens struck again. Nash completed his 50 off 40 balls and then took his team to within 35 runs of their target with five overs remaining. But there was still time for some drama. Mitch Claydon trapped Evans bang in front for 15. And Visa was run out by Nisham after losing sight of the ball. So 10 more runs were wanted from 11 balls. Jordan coming in and hitting two fours. And then Nash rightly finishing things off with his seventh four to go with his two early sixes. The Sharks took the game by five wickets and are now only outside the top four on net run rate in the South group. The Spitfire is just a point behind, so there is still all to play for as Sussex head to Worcester on Sunday and Kent next go up against Hampshire back at home next Friday. Your support is required. <laughs>